Hi, in this video, I'm going to show you how to add rain effect to your image in Photop. The process is pretty easy. However, there are quite a lot of steps and you will have to create lots of layers. So one thing you have to keep in mind is to name your layers properly and keep them organized. And if you want to practice step by step along with me, you can download a sample image in the description box down below. Let's get started. How can we create rain effect? Well, we can easily turn noise into rain. But in order to do that, first we will need to add a color to our layer. So now I have already opened a file with a, a man holding an umbrella, but there is no rain. So now I will create a new layer and I will use the bucket tool to add a solid color. Any color will work. And then click on filter, noise, add noise. So now I will increase the amount and then remember to check this box. Otherwise, the rain will have some very strange colors. And click OK. Now I already have a noise rain, but I want the raindrops to be larger. So now I will use a selection tool to select a part of the noise and press Ctrl plus J to make a duplication. So because I no longer need layer one, I can delete it and click on layer two. Match the size of layer two to our background layer. So by resizing it, I will have some larger raindrops. Okay, the next step is to blur the noise because as we know, raindrops are not supposed to be very clear. So um, before we do that, we will need to turn the layer into a smart object so that if we want to make any adjustment, we can easily do that later. And then click on filter, blur and motion blur. Here you will see two things we can change. The first is angle and the second is distance. Let's change the distance first. As you can see, if I increase the distance, the raindrops will become longer. Okay, and now if um, you can see that the, the way the rain is moving is horizontally, but normally raindrops are not supposed to move that way. Raindrops are supposed to move vertically. So we will have to change the angle. You can click on the circle or you can type in the numbers. Now click OK. You can see that the raindrops are moving vertically. So now the next step, we will have to change the blending mode into screen. Well, if you don't know what the what this blending mode does, you can watch my previous tutorial about three most useful blending modes. I put a link up there. Okay, now we can already see the rain effect. However, I think the effect is too strong. I don't want the density of the rain to be that much. So like I just said about the screen blending mode, well, basically the screen blending mode will block the dark parts and only show the bright parts. Knowing this, we can easily decrease the density of the rain by adjusting the level of the image. When I turn the bright rain into dark rain, the dark rain won't show under screen mode. So now create a level adjustment and remember to right click to create a clipping mask so that 
um, the level will only affect level uh, layer two and not affect our background layer. Now we can drag the black dot to the right. And you can see that our image is becoming a little bit darker. That's because the some parts of the rain, some parts of the bright rain are decreasing. So you can adjust how much rain you want to show. So now everything is fine. Now we have already finished the basic rain effect that we want, but can we make it even more realistic? Yes. Normally raindrops are not supposed to be all the same. Some raindrops should be larger, some smaller, some longer, some shorter. So what I can do is to duplicate everything I have just done and adjust the shape and the density of the rain. So now it is time to be very organized. I will rename this into noise and let's create a group. Group these two layers together, press Ctrl plus G and name this rain one. Okay, and now I will make a duplication of rain one and rename it rain I can adjust the motion blur and the density to change the rain in rain 2, but now I will first hide rain 1 so you can see clearly what I'm doing in rain 2. Now I'm going to change the motion blur. Remember I said that um, if I increase or decrease the distance I can make the raindrops either longer or shorter. So now I'm going to make it longer. Click OK. And now I can adjust the density of rain 2 by changing the level. Drag the black dot to the left. So the rain will be more dense. Okay, so now I can compare the effect. Now it is um, only REN1 and now combined with REN2. Okay, I think this is too much. So I can decrease the opacity. All right, now it is pretty good. So now we already have a pretty good rain effect, but what if I want to make some local adjustment? For example, um, this man is holding an umbrella. So the area under the umbrella is not supposed to have that much rain, right? So what we can do is create a mask for all these layers. So. Let's create a large folder to contain everything we have just created. Select these two groups and press Ctrl plus G. Now we have a very large folder. Let's name it Ren Group. Okay, so now this large layer contains two groups of Ren, Ren 1 and Ren 2. Now what I can do is create a mask for the RAN group and um, select the brush tool and remember to make sure your um, brush is very soft and turn the flow down otherwise it will have a very strong edge. So I will use 13% uh, of flow and choose color black to paint on the mask. Paint under the area um, below the umbrella. So now as I paint, you can see that the rain is decreasing. All 
all right if you want to compare what you have done you can just right click on the mask and um, click on disable the mask and now this is without mask and enable the mask this is after we have erased the ring so if this is the effect that you are satisfied with then we are done this is our before no rain and this is after let's conclude what we have learned today first we have created some noise to serve us our raindrops and then we created some motion blur to change the the length of our raindrop and then we created some level adjustment to change the density and then we um, duplicated our our rain group one to create rain group two in order to make some variations and then we grouped them all together and created a mask to do some local adjustment under the umbrella so this is today's lesson i hope you enjoy it if you find this video helpful please give me a thumbs up and i will see you next time bye <music>